All right, which one of you are going to get banished today? You or you? Who's gonna lose their bet privileges? Take your vote. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Rant, where I rant about whatever I see on the internet that's kind of interesting or stupid. Today we're talking about Lizzo saying that she is a body icon just like Kim Kardashian. So I saw this posted in my workout group and people were a little bit confused. I was confused as well, so I looked it up and I wanted to read the article that I found from BuzzFeed, where we get the most important important news. When it comes to Lizzo, critics tend to make her body the topic of discussion more than her music and bomb personality. Is it her whole existence? No, her partial existence on the internet about her body though? When I go on her Instagram, first thing I see, Boot. Second image, James Corden looking at her gut. I'm just kidding, that's maybe not what he's doing, but it just looks like that and it looks funny to me and I wanted to mention it. But isn't her main thing being big in Hollywood, being the fat chick that's confident and loves her body and doesn't want to lose weight, likes being fat. That's her like whole shtick. And then combined with being, you know, musically inclined. She fights against Hollywood's desire to be thin and still able to make it very big in mainstream media. Also, she has a whole tour called Watch Out For The Big Girls. It's like if I went on tour and I labeled my whole tour hobbit chicks and then everyone was calling me a hobbit and like talking about how short i was and i was like hey that don't what why don't do that okay let's get over the whole short thing that i made my whole tour about don't talk about that also the picture buzzfeed used is a picture of her butt so her whole ass where do you think my eyes are going to go to when i see all of this her body and she takes multiple pictures and videos like this so if you show me this i'm going to think of you as the butt the butt girl or just the butt if i was someone who like posted my butt cheeks on the internet i would want people to label me as the butt like on finding nemo but on instagram what's that I know what that is, um, a butt. That's a pretty big butt. But Lizzo is letting the hate go in one ear and out the other in a new interview with People. Lizzo explained why she considers herself a, in quotes, modern day body icon and why she likes being fat. <laughs> Her picture looks absolutely adorable and also evil all at the same time. Stay fat with me. Or she's saying, I'm getting so filthy rich off of being fat, getting all the support from the fellow fat chicks, getting them all excited, then I'm gonna lose weight and leave all you fat chicks rolling down the hill, triggered like you were when Adele and Rebel lost weight. <laughs> So that's also a possibility of what she could be saying. I don't know, I'm not Lizzo, I'm just theorizing here. I think I have a really hot body, the 33 year old musician says. I'm a body icon and I'm embracing that more and more every day. It may not be one person's ideal body type, just like say, mm, I don't know, Kim Kardashian might not be someone's ideal, but she's a body icon and has created a modern day beauty standard. Okay, just a few things. I agree that Kim K isn't everyone's beauty standard, but she is a lot of people's beauty standard. According to the body positive community, she set the absolute tone. She caused a lot of people to have body issues and an unrealistic expectation. According to many, many people would love to look like Kim Kardashian. I'm trying to figure out who is getting surgeries and you know doing unrealistic things to look like Lizzo. Lizzo has a very realistic body. I don't know if I'm out of the loop, but I don't see anyone trying to get surgery to look like Lizzo. They just eat, then gain weight. See Lizzo doing her thing on her tour and like making it big as a big girl. And they're like, you know what? This validates me. She's fat, I'm fat. That makes me feel good about myself. I just think it's funny that she's comparing herself to Kim Kardashian, someone who bought a lot of her body, works out, probably eats a very restrictive diet, wears certain corsets and things to make sure her, you know, body, modi bo body modifies body modification body mod modifies her body in a certain way to get a very unrealistic body. Lizzo does not restrict her calories. She's got Lizzo be eaten as her Instagram username. And what I'm doing is stepping into my confidence and my power to create my own beauty standard. And one day that will just be the standard. Yo. The
They trying to make Wally a reality. I told y'all, I brought up Wally a while ago and said, this is what the fat positive community wants. I said it, I mentioned it. I full on probably yelled at the camera like right now in my the future of fitness is fatness video. They don't even want this to be a movement. They want this to be the complete reality. The future ideal body is here. How's our future look? Artery clogged for one. It makes sense, at least for American standards, we love easy. I know I love easy. Anyone can do that. I can do that. Go back to my binging days. Sure. Liz is out here dipping sandwiches into cheese. Have you done that? Tastes delicious. Fine American cuisine. Hot Cheetos. Y'all know me and my hot Cheeto addiction. She's out here spanking food. I can spank food. That looks like some good food. That looks like a nice tasty spread, Lizzo. And I have no clue what the spanking's about, but I'm always down for a good spank. Food cheeks or my cheeks? Lizzo revealed her parents taught her at a very young age how to navigate in America as a black woman. She learned firsthand and in quotes very quickly how fat people are treated in the US. Wait, I, I thought we were talking about being black in America, not being fat. Why do they always have to pair being black and being fat together? Are you saying that all black people are fat? I'm black, which means you're calling me fat. I don't appreciate it, I am offended change what you need to change so that I'm not offended anymore. That's how it works, right? Someone is offended, we change it, and then everyone's happy, but that, that person's not happy. Anyway, there's a little interview here that I would like us to watch. Action. And many, many people who look like me have been devalued and undervalued. And um, because of that, we don't get opportunities, we don't get representation, and we actually get shit on a lot in the media almost as like a tool to make other people feel better about themselves. So I see what she's saying. There's not a ton of fat black representation in, you know, mainstream media, but I like how she said that she's a tool for everyone to use and objectify. Girl, you're in Hollywood. You are a tool, your whole existence is a tool for people to use and make money off of. Second, I like how she says that she's just there to make other people feel better, implying this is just me thinking, theorizing, not a fact, just thinking, ranting, talking to my closest 500,000 friends right now. It feels that she is implying that she says that her body's there to make other like thinner people feel better because they're not as fat as Lizzo. But in her own community, isn't that what she's doing? I read so many comments and a lot of these fat people, you know, very popular fat people's Instagram that says, wow, Lizzo just existing and being the size that she is makes me feel so much better about myself. The one person that I remember reading a lot, you'll find it on Lizzo too, but recently I was reading Tess Holiday's little comments and a lot of people say, wow, I feel so much better because you're like showing your body and we got the same body and it really validates my fatness. That's exactly why they get very upset and emotional when someone like Rebel Wilson and Adele start to lose weight. They were relatable to them when they were fat and happy and then when Rebel and Adele Adele came along saying they weren't too fat and happy or healthy, that just like diminishes their audience whole existence. You weren't fat and happy? Well, that means I'm not fat and happy. That's pretty much what happened. You're invalidating my fatness and talking about me, even though you're talking about yourself on your own platform or whatever stuff they say. So for me, it is about not, I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm valuable. Yes, you do. Yes, you do have to prove that you are valuable. In fact, you already have. People saw that you had something. I think she started on YouTube playing the flute. She's very talented. It's like, it's like people that say that Lizzo isn't talented. I think if you can even read music, you've got talent because I have tried and I am just like a little kid going extremely slow. It's hard. It's like a different language. So I give props to anyone can read music. And then if you can read that music and apply it to your fingers and an instrument, that's huge. Like, I have so much just jealousy for people that can do that. Yeah, I hate you. But I also really, really appreciate it. Something. Jealous. I don't know what I feel, but I feel something. But that's how she became famous. Proving to other people that she is worthy or valuable to be able to have the spotlight that she has. You gotta prove that your body, your personality, your face, and of course the talent. Some people don't have talent, but in her case she does, in my opinion, was valuable. The light on these people that I believe are talented and worthy and um, 
deserving uh, to be valued. Okay, so she's saying like the generic speech that a lot of people in this group just like salivate over. I find it odd and just very unmotivating, but most motivational speeches don't motivate me at all. It just seems like a very salesy type speech or they're just trying to pull on my heartstrings and I don't know. It's just, it's not motivating for me, so it's obviously not for me. Even when I was bigger, I would be like, it's just not motivating. But I can see people getting motivated by this to love their body. Everybody wants to be loved and valued, but for me, it would take more than Lizzo saying all this for me to believe it. It would take myself. Like for some people, it would make them feel good for a second and then someone is going to say that obesity is unhealthy and they're going to blame that person, me, for them spiraling into a deep depression because I invalidated their body by saying obesity is unhealthy. I just wish that more people will see the value in um, fat black girls. Well, I'm, okay, so I know she's talking figuratively, but I wanna take her words like, just as her words if we're talking about what is more valuable, and I'm not calling anybody a cow, but this is the example that I'm choosing to use. If it hurts your feelings, well, too bad. Let's say a farmer is looking to increase his cows on his farm, and he needs to go find another cow. So he goes to the cow shop or wherever farmers go to go get more cows because they don't have babies in this universe. They go purchase them. So he goes to the cow shop. There's two cows. One is of a healthy weight. You can see that it's pretty lean. They can walk properly. They move at a normal rate. They produce good milk. He's just an overall healthy, athletic cow. And then over here is the other cow. The very morbidly obese cow. Walks even slower than normal cows. Eats a shit ton of grass way more than needed. Has a line of health issues, and the person selling this cow says, oh, it's healthy. But because of the extra weight, it's going to have more chances of having these such and such diseases, and like rips out a list of potential diseases that it has a higher chance of having because of its weight. Which cow is more valuable? Exactly. Shoo, we can do an example for my own life, a real life example for the people who don't like my hypothetics. So there's me and another person goes out to a job interview, right? And I am exactly what they're looking for. Very athletic. I can lift, you know, move all day. I, I don't get very tired. Doing everything very good at talking to people, can sell, everything like that. Except I say one catch. I have endometriosis and every month for a week I can't come into work because I'm in bed screaming from the immense pain that I'm in. Then there's another person applying for the same job exactly like me, except they don't have endometriosis and they don't have to take a week off of work every single month. Who's more valuable? That person, that asshole. But who's more valuable? The person over there, the healthier person. Fuck them, right? But you guys get what I'm saying. They always say we're just as valuable as any other straight-sized person. I mean, technically, if we are just dropped into the universe of Promised Neverland, where demons buy human meat, you are not gonna be as valuable as you think. Also, watch that. Good anime. It infiltrates my dreams every single night, but I love it. I I can't wait until we see that. I've been seeing it a little bit here and there. Girls that look like me, and it's just so exciting. I'm like, oh, yay, like, all right. I mean, I see what she's saying, and it feels nice to have, you know, more representation of fat black women, because that's what a lot of my family looks like, but I personally don't think we need more representation of fat black women. Why? I'm personally tired of them selling that black women are fat. We just saw it, how Lizzo just talked. She like naturally paired fat and blackness together. And I personally think the media always says that black women are just big. And, and not like curb, like obese, especially in 2022 with fat positivity literally on the rise. Did you guys know there's like fat studies now? At a college. I have you little college people sending me little things from your textbooks talking about fat liberate. What? I went to health class and I was taught that obesity was not, a, and now there's a fat liberation in college. Times have changed. So no, I personally don't wanna see more fat black women in the media. We are, we dying, okay, from obesity. We don't need any more motivation to keep overly eating. I was like, okay, what can I do with this? How can I make the best of this? I wasn't supposed to survive. I wasn't supposed to make it this far. <laughs> I just relate this whole little speech to obesity and death. Like she's surprised that she like beat the time that her doctor said, uh, time is, dwindling and she like surpassed it. Not saying that she's like that far off. The doctor said I wouldn't make it, but here I am alive, eating hot Cheetos and slapping dough.
Okay, back to the actual motivational speech. I wasn't supposed to be a millionaire. I wasn't supposed to be a sex symbol. I wasn't supposed to be on the cover of People, but I am. So how can I make this worthwhile? We all know I'm fat. I know I'm fat. It doesn't bother me. I like being fat and I'm beautiful and I'm healthy. Actually, no, I have a comment. If she is healthy for now, enjoy your time. She's in her early 30s. As time goes on, it gets pretty hard. I'm beautiful and I'm healthy. So can we just move on? Once again, she made a lot of her career related to her body. People are definitely not going to move on from this. You know what's interesting? And we've talked about this before, I think when it was about Tess Holiday. but she says, well, you know, like, can we just get over the whole body thing? I know I'm fat, I know I'm big. And she says, don't talk about, you know, like why talk about her body? But it seems that when people negatively, you know, have a negative tone when it comes to their body, then they don't want to talk about their body. But everything's fine and dandy when it's like a very positive tone. And keep in mind this negative tone is when people say, you know, like you're unhealthy, that's negative. Like people can compliment her ass and how they want to motorboat her butthole and it's fine and dandy. Bring up health and how her body is not healthy, then it's like, let's not talk about people's bodies. And her whole tour is called Something Big Girl. Stop playing with my mind, Lizzo. The rumor singer said women like her are typically placed in stereotypical boxes like the funny fat friend or the big girl who's insecure because she's big and she's ready to end that cycle. I don't think I'm the only kind of fat girl there is. I want us to be freed from the box we've been put in. And so she fights against that stereotype by naming herself Lizzo B. Eaton on Instagram where she constantly does the stereotypical things that people think that all fat people do, eat. She fights against that annoying thing that people keep talking about her body like this. Yeah, that was a whole video. Just but. I don't know what else I would comment on that other than but. So once again, the body positive community just leaves me dazed and confused. Kim Kardashian is toxic, but she's similar to Kim Kardashian. Don't talk about their bodies, but they constantly talk about their bodies and post their bodies and their butt cheeks. They say they don't want to be a stereotypical fat person, but their name is Lizzo B. Eaton. Where she be eaten? Anyway, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you to my rant and to all the ultra Lizzo fans out there upset because I'm critiquing Lizzo and you guys say that, you know, like, why do you hate Lizzo so much? I don't hate her. Unlike you, I don't know her. So I personally just like to critique things that I see on the internet and what people send me, but I definitely like still beep bop to her music. I just think that she's inconsistent and confusing. Bye. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Fit it up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your ear.